So we're here with Jim from Westworks Construction and Lola. Today we're building a beautiful Western Red Cedar decor crate. Jim, what is a decor crate? A decor crate is uh, essentially a safe place for a dog, a crate to keep in your house, put their dog bed in, and uh, just a nice go-to place for the dog. So what's the first step? First step is to, one, acquire the wood and, uh, and and pre-cut it. Then the next step is to put it together. Okay, let's get started. Okay, perfect. So all the components for the base frame are complete. What next, Jim? Well, we throw together the base frame now and then essentially everything would build off this base. The base, this particular base, is designed for a 20 pound dog. You could easily adapt this plan for a bigger dog and uh, you could also, bigger dogs, the stairs aren't necessary so you could delete the stairs as well. That's right, this design comes in small, medium and large. And for more detailed instructions, visit realseater.com for free downloadable building plans. So we've just completed the second tier, and as you can see, the lovely Daisy has joined us. Jim, what is the next step? Okay, the next step is to deal with these shims. Mm -hmm. These shims are a half inch, and they're going to give it stability while we put it together and also maintain a nice, even um, spacing. So here we go. The tugs. Pugs are a very uh, tolerant breed, so Daisy will just stay there. And now we're going to place this tier. Okay. So we just take this. These uh, sticks or corner pieces guide us in, and there it is. Fits right on down. It's like a glove. Yeah, perfect. So it's coming along really nicely. Now for this project, we're using a beautiful grade of naughty Western Red Cedar, and I love the way the texture really complements the clean lines of your modern design. So what's the next step? Next step is to apply the front posts. Front posts are going to be smooth and they're cut out of two by sixes. They're rabbited for a number, number of reasons. First being um, one, we're able to um, control this reveal, get a nice reveal here. Two is structural, this makes it strong. And three is, if this, the, any of these are slightly out, um, it, will, it will hide that back. Great. Now we're leaving this unfinished, why is that? Well, we're, um, it's strictly preference, it's going inside. The, um, uh, the interior of this should probably be left unfinished anyways because there's animals involved and it's a health thing, but uh, the exterior is just personal preference. Right, and if we were going to finish it, we'd be spoiled for choice because Western Red Cedar is pitch and resin free, which means it holds and accepts a wide range of finishes beautifully. Absolutely, and when it is finished, it really pops. Nice. Well, the girls sure seem to like it. Yeah, they do. And not only does the Western Red Cedar look, smell, and feel great, it's actually a green choice. In fact, wood such as Western Red Cedar leave the smallest carbon footprint than any other building material. Wow, that's fabulous.